I still it can feel it. Looks great, sounds Thank great. You. It couldn't get any better, could it? Thank you. Mm -hmm. It was great. Working with such talented musicians all the time, you must learn a great deal musically as well. I'm not a great. I'm not a, such a talented person, mm -hmm. but I got very lucky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. well, what kind of things do you have to learn from these uh, from from these experiences? These experiences, mm -hmm. I think more famous people get. I learned that more modest and more normal they mm. are. And these people who are not really famous, they are the most arrogant people in the world. Mm. But when I, what really surprised me was that these people were just like next door neighbors mm -hmm. and they tried to make, I, it just felt like friends and I was really surprised and I learned so much that always keep your head down no matter how far you go and keep your feet in the ground and do what's best, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So that one performance with uh, Pavarotti, mm -hmm. that triggered this switch from classical yes, violin definitely. to electric violin. Yes. And you've stuck with it ever since. I'm stuck with it ever uh -huh. since and I'm very happy. Uh, well, well mm, why do you think it is that you are uh, happier with the electric violin? I guess, you know, if I had to compare between acoustic violin and an electric violin, it would be like, an acoustic violin would be comparable to a trained horse, mm -hmm. whereas electric violin is like a wild horse. Mm -hmm. You're not learned, you are able to do what horses are trained to do, but you're more wild and you have that freedom and you can run as much as you want and there's no guidance, no limitations, no boundaries. Does that say something about your personality as well? That I, you're more like a wild horse than a tame I horse? I guess so. Yeah. I hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm very wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> now then, um, ever since you took up uh, electric violin, mm -hmm. who's been your uh, mentor either mm -hmm. in life or in music? mentor mm -hmm. and I have so many mentors mm -hmm. but still it's a classical artist. Mm. My mentor always has been Maria Callas. A lot of people might oh. think that it should be a violinist but violin and all kinds of instruments it's all about singing, mm -hmm. singing your heart out and touching the audience with mm -hmm. what you're feeling inside and Maria Callas is one of the great examples. She usually a performer gives let's say 80% of what their ability in their performance. But Maria Callas gave about, I believe, mm -hmm. about 120%. Mm. And she touched my heart ever since I was very young. And the way she sings, the way she breathes, it's so wonderful. And I adapt a lot of that in my playing. Wow, interesting how, yes. you, how you get your musical inspiration from a Singer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you actually uh, compose your own music as well? Yes, I like to compose, although I'm not a great composer, but I try my best and I like it very much because mm -hmm. I am free. Yes. And what are your compositions like? How would you explain your compositions? Very unique mm -hmm. in its own way and it's very Asian. Very Asian is a word that I... I heard being described. Yes, uh, I, like to comp I like to combine Asian sounds with Western sounds. Mm -hmm. A lot of violinists, electronic violinists and other Korean artists tend to want to com um, combine beats with Western beats. And I am so proud being an Asian person mm -hmm. and Korean and I like to combine Korean beats which is basically um, pop beats are basically heartbeats, mm -hmm. but Asian beats are very comparable to breathing. Oh. Yes, so I like to combine these things and it's very exotic. A lot of people find it exotic and some people might find it very difficult to hear, but a lot of people had suggested me to play something mm -hmm. that people might like, but I don't want my music. I don't want to make music that people might like. I want to make music that I like mm. and make people follow it. Mm. Yes. I, I, like, I like the way you compared Korean music to the sound of, or the beat of breathing. Yes, mm. I really think that mm. way.
Your dream, I read somewhere, is to be on stage with Eminem. Yes, it huh? is one of my dreams. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, he's going to have his retiring album, oh, which no. I'm really sad about. Uh -huh. But yes, it has been always been my dream to perform with Eminem. I love his voice and I love his rhythm and it's perfect with the violin, I believe. Well, if I were you, I would keep my fingers crossed that he comes back out of his retirement because, I mean, things like that happen with yeah. artists all the time, right? Things they retire, like really come back, happen. retire, yeah. come back. Yeah. I hope that he really comes back. Mm -hmm. So will he be rapping to your He definitely won't violin. be playing the violin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I hope he will rap, oh. you know, and I'll be playing the violin. And because violin is song without words, although it can be transferred to people without words, mm -hmm. sometimes I want to combine these things two together so that they know what pe people know what mm -hmm. I'm actually thinking inside. Mm -hmm. I want to try message. that. Yeah, uh -huh. a stronger message. Mm -hmm.